you converted from Christianity to Islam, your life is not under threat here in the U.S. I converted from, from Islam to Christianity. My life is under death. That's the difference between Christianity and Islam. Okay, so let me Our, ask you this. Yes. I got a question for you guys. I'm a data guy. I'm a finance guy. How many Christians have died uh, going from being Christian to Muslim? How many Muslims have actually been killed or died going from being a Muslim to a Christian? There's no yeah. data on that because these kinds of things are not recorded. They're not considered crime. There should be, though, right? Islam. I mean, shouldn't, I, be, shouldn't there, there, even if there's some stories to be able to say, yes. you know, X, Y, Z individual. I have stories. I have one in Mauritania who was condemned for to be executed. We just got him out to Paris because we negotiated with the government there. I have people right now in Libya. They are under death penalty in Libya. I have people who got killed in Jordan, for example, because I do my show, people contact me. I have people who got killed in Jordan. Their parents killed them because of, they became uh, uh, Christians from, from a Muslim background. We have people in different places in the world, in the Muslim community, they kill them. And if they get, if they get to flee, that's the best outcome. Islam is to be applied forever on every place since the time of Muhammad until today. So Muslims are just seeking to be a majority one day. And the, the, if Muslims are majority today, yeah. these two brothers will witness my killing in front of people. And they will be happy cheering the crowds that I was killed. So, Answer me, yes or no? We did answer. Yes, we did answer. Yeah, so I should be answer. killed. We did answer. I deserve to be killed because I left Islam and became a Christian. According to Islamic law, an apostate like you would be killed. Yes. Okay, thank you. We know all the history. The moment you deny the divinity of Christ, he is not the Son of God, he is not God, and he was never crucified, you have denied your own salvation. When you deny your salvation, you've denied life. When you deny life, what are you going to end up with? Death. That's why the one who's sitting on it is death. You're going to get nothing but death. Islam flourished and expanded with the sword. That's why on the flag of Saudi Arabia is green with two swords crossing. That's how it went with the sword. Jesus said, my sword is my word and my word is love. You flourish through love, not by chopping heads. You flourish with love. I don't want to offend no Muslim that's not my intention but this is what their book literally says so don't tell me we believe in your Jesus you don't my Jesus is God revealed in the flesh he was crucified to save the whole world this is my Jesus there is, in here it's non negotiable area we can't sit and say let's come up with a solution now this is the solution and the only solution you better believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He is God Himself. He was crucified. He was buried, rose from the dead on the third day, and He will come to judge the living and the dead. For He is God revealed in the flesh. Period. 